Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mike with Alpha Reptile back with another video today, and today is the final day of May Madness. Today is what you guys have gone through the whole month of watching me making videos and hanging out and just kind of uh, grinding through the whole month of May. And if you have made it through the whole time and you've watched every single video, kudos to you. I really appreciate it. I know there's been quite a few of you that I would like to thank at the beginning of this video for watching and commenting because I'm sure there's some of you guys that watch every video but don't comment so there are a select few of you guys that I have seen commenting on pretty much every single one of my videos and I just wanted to say thank you for all the support to the following people we have JTB Reptiles, Supreme Gecko, Chuck Hall, Trent H, the Dragon Tamer, Reptiles and Rodents, Reptitan, Melissa Lay, Tony's Primitive Animals, and finally Michael Ross. I'm sure there's a bunch that I missed and I don't want you guys to feel bad. Those are just the people that really stood out to me in the comment section over the whole last month. So I want to thank you guys all very much for watching. I've had a blast this month. This has been one of the harder months of the year so far. Uh, I guess just kind of a recap of how this month has gone. Has been starting off April 23rd was my last final exam of my university career. April 26th I have some friends over for my birthday. We have a good time. We have party. You know the, the usual shenanigans. Then April 27th and 28th, I had different family come over for my birthday and uh, just come hang out, so I didn't really do any filming then. Then on April 29th, I suppose, the Monday, I filmed for April 30th, and then May Madness started. So that was the beginning of the month. Uh, throughout this month, we've done a lot of things together. I've taught you guys how to make fruit fly cultures. I've showed you the care on the Euromastics. I have picked up my little baby Euromastics, the sixth of them, as you guys have seen in many videos. They are doing super, super well. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I actually had them outside for about an hour today, hanging out in a tub, enjoying the blazing hot sun. In addition to that, we've had some baby Aki's hatch. Um, I need to do an update on Bowser. Uh, things have taken, not really a turn for the worse, but have kind of stayed the same. I'm not gonna go into details about that in this video, but for another video. I might end up keeping one of the Ackies, uh, but other than that, if you're in Canada and you're interested in a yellow Ackie monitor, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you can find my stuff is where you can hit me up and we can arrange something. For those of you that are asking, I'll answer it now. They are 500 Canadian each, uh, plus shipping. So depending on where you are in Canada, shipping will range from about 150 to 200, depending on where you are. Typically, it's around the 150 mark though. What else have we done this month? Well, we have gone to a show. I went to my very first reptile expo and vended for the first time. I had somebody in the comments mention that I should make a video of like what I would do differently, what I did right, what I would do next time, and just kind of my reptile expo experience. And I think that's a really good idea, so I think I will end up making that for sometime in June. I just need a little bit of time to think about it. And after this, I just need to decompress a little and kind of take like a week's break from YouTube that would be that would be nice but uh who knows if that'll happen or not I've been over to Cody's house numerous times when I was picking up the red ackies when I was picking up the babies um, doing a lot of different stuff uh, hanging out with Cody and just talking with him I did a live stream and a question and answer every week and I think you guys have learned that I will be moving to Australia Everybody gets really confused with that and mentions, oh, like you can't bring any of your animals. I know I wouldn't be living there permanently. It would be for probably a year, maybe a year and a half to two years, somewhere around there. Haven't decided yet, but this summer, towards the end of the summer, I'm going to be looking for a full-time job and then just working that for probably a year before I go. So don't worry, those of you freaking out, it's not going to be anytime soon that I'm leaving. Over the course of this month, I've also built a custom tank by myself, all the glass, everything like that. It was meant to be for the Reptile Expo, but unfortunately I didn't have enough time to get it done and bring it with me to the Reptile Expo, so... That kind of stinks, but whatever, what can you really do? Beyond that, I actually got my wisdom teeth out a week ago today when I'm filming this, and 
they're doing okay. I mean, it still kind of sucks to eat stuff, but whatever, we're out here. At the beginning of the month, we also went down to Jungle Jewel Exotics to check out their collection and do a video about Save the Choco. The Choco Rainforest is basically a rainforest that nobody's really heard of. Uh, everybody hears about the Amazon, and that's kind of like the big one that people think about, but the Choco Rainforest is an extremely important rainforest that houses a ton of biodiversity in a relatively small area, so preserving this rainforest is definitely a, a priority in my book and should be a priority in your book as well. If you're following with this channel and enjoy reptiles and amphibians, then it's probably something you should think about too. That's just kind of what I can pull from the top of my head. Like I said, to those of you at the beginning of the month who have followed this all the way through, I really, really appreciate it. It means a ton to me, and I would love to get your input on what merch you guys might want to see, what other stuff you'd like to see me do. I know some people have been here since when I was talking about doing a podcast. I still have the website. I still have everything ready for it. I just haven't started it yet. I, I just due to a lack of time. I have a job, I have everything like that, and it's just a lot to do it all. So maybe if I can find a partner that's willing to do it with me and kind of handle the logistics side of things, I would love to be a co-host on a podcast and just hang out and show up once or twice a week and hang out. But uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in something like that, hit me up, I suppose. But I think the main point that I want to get across in this video is my gratitude to those of you that show up. I really, really appreciate everything that you guys have done for me. YouTube is a job for me. I do make some money from it. It's not like life-changing money or anything like that, but it does allow me to go on some trips and hang out with friends and provide for the animals that I have. So I really want to thank you guys for hanging around. I think it's safe to say that I just want to continue to build our family and just you know, grow the community around this channel. But that's enough of my rambling for today. If you liked the video, make sure you click that like button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you leave it in the comment section down below. If you want to see what's going on for me for the rest of the summer, including a trip to the Reptarium and Toronto, Michigan as well, behind the scenes at an aquarium, including also Costa Rica and then Phoenix again, Make sure you click that subscribe button and you won't miss out on any of that content. I want to thank you guys all very much for watching and hanging through my madness. It's been a ton of work for me. You guys have definitely shown up this month and I really appreciate it. So we'll catch you in the next video whenever that comes out because it's not every day anymore. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later.